Have you ever sat down in a chair and wondered how on earth it holds your weight? Or looked up at a skyscraper and thought, how does that thing stay upright? Our world is full of structures, from the bridges we cross to the buildings we inhabit to the very chair we sit on. Yet we often take for granted the intricate structural design features that make them safe and stable. In this video, we'll uncover these hidden elements, revealing how engineering principles are subtly woven into our everyday lives. Get ready to see the ordinary in a whole new light. When you cross a bridge, do you ever stop to think about the marvel of engineering that allows you to cross over a river or a highway safely? One of the most iconic types of bridges is the suspension bridge. It consists of a deck suspended from cables that are anchored to towers or piers. But have you ever noticed the intricate web of steel cables that support the bridge deck? These cables are not just randomly placed. They are carefully arranged in a specific pattern to distribute the weight of the bridge and any traffic on it efficiently. In fact, the main cables in a suspension bridge are the most crucial element of its structure. These thick steel cables, often coated with a protective layer of plastic or paint, are responsible for carrying the majority of the load. Beneath the main cables is another network of smaller cables called the false cables. These cables are attached to the main cables and help to stabilize the structure by distributing the load more evenly. They also provide additional support to the bridge deck, which is often made of concrete or steel. But what happens when a massive truck drives across the bridge? How does the structure withstand such immense forces? To understand this, let's look at a simplified version with suspension bridge. Imagine a single cable suspended between two points. When a load is placed on the cable, it causes it to sag. This is because the cable is flexible and can be deformed under the force of the load. However, the amount of sag depends on the weight of the load and the stiffness of the cable. The stiffness of a cable is determined by its material properties and its geometry. A thicker cable with a stronger material will be stiffer than a thinner cable made of a weaker material. In the case of a suspension bridge, the main cables are typically made of high-strength steel, allowing them to maintain their shape even under heavy loads. The false cables also play a role in distributing the load and reducing the sag of the main cables. By analyzing the behavior of these cables, Engineers can calculate the optimal spacing between them to ensure that the bridge remains stable and safe for use. Suspension bridges are designed to sway less than other types of bridges, but they still need to be able to withstand wind forces that can cause oscillations. Engineers use aerodynamic principles to minimize wind resistance by shaping the structure of the bridge and optimizing the spacing between the cables. If you've ever worked on a construction site or renovated an old building, you may have seen steel bars or mesh used to reinforce concrete. But why is this necessary? Concrete is strong in compression, meaning it can withstand a lot of weight pushing down on it. However, it's relatively weak in tension, meaning it can be easily torn apart by pulling forces, that's where steel comes in. Steel is much stronger in tension than concrete, so it can effectively counteract the pulling forces that try to tear the concrete apart. The steel bars or mesh are typically embedded in the concrete and bonded together using a special adhesive. When forces try to pull the concrete apart, the steel reinforcement takes on the majority of the strain, preventing the concrete from cracking or tearing. Reinforced concrete is widely used in modern building construction, including the construction of beams, columns, slabs and foundations. It's particularly important in earthquake-prone areas where buildings need to be designed to withstand seismic forces. In these cases, the structural elements are designed to absorb and distribute the energy of an earthquake, protecting the people inside the building. Structural elements aren't just found in large construction projects like bridges and buildings. They're also hidden in everyday objects that we often take for granted. Have you ever noticed the internal structure of a chair? The legs of a chair are not simply decorative, but are carefully designed structural elements that distribute the weight of the person sitting on it. The back of the chair provides additional support and stability. But what if you want to make a chair that can support the weight of a large animal like a horse? In this case, you would need a much stronger material and a more robust design. Materials like aluminum and carbon fiber are lightweight yet incredibly strong, making them ideal for creating structures that need to support a lot of weight without adding too much mass. For example, the wings of an airplane are made of aluminum, which is strong enough to withstand the immense forces of flight while being lightweight enough to keep the plane airborne. 
Similarly, the chassis of a race car is often made of carbon fiber, which is extremely strong and stiff, allowing the car to go around corners at high speeds without losing control. The world of structural design is constantly evolving with new technologies and materials pushing the boundaries what's possible. 3D printing, for example, is revolutionizing the way structures are built by allowing for the creation of complex shapes and geometries that were previously impossible to construct using traditional methods. Smart materials that can sense and respond to their environment are also being developed, leading to structures that are more adaptable and efficient. And perhaps most exciting of all is the use of AI to help predict structural failures before they occur. By analyzing data and identifying patterns, AI algorithms can help engineers design safer and more resilient structures. So next time you look around your environment, take a moment to appreciate the hidden design features that are keeping you safe and stable. From the suspension bridge to the humble chair, every structure tells a story of human ingenuity and the power of engineering. That concludes our exploration of hidden structural design features. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And if you have any thoughts, ideas or suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.